found that their limitation of marriage to man and woman might not be constitutional. So there was a Federal Defense of Marriage Act, which you've heard a lot about, but then also this one at the state level that says, well, what it says, you can read it. It's exactly the same policy, although not the same operative legal effect, as what's down at the bottom, which is the text of the proposed amendment that will be on the ballot in uh, May of, or whenever the first primary is in 2012. That is, we're not recognizing same-sex marriage, and we're not recognizing functional equivalents of same-sex marriage either. So that's been the policy for about 340 years in North Carolina, and of course goes back uh, thousands of years. But that doesn't mean that this hasn't, uh, the, the debate you're having today hasn't been a matter of discussion for thousands of years. You know, the Greeks, uh, of course, discussed quite a bit whether uh, same-sex uh, uh, intimate relations were a good or bad thing and how to raise children. It's, uh, the more I'm in the legislature, uh, Professor, the more I realize there's very few new discussions that have not happened before. But I raise this especially uh, realizing this was reaffirmed as recently as 15 years ago when I hear so much talk about the fact that this amendment is hate speech. Because I have here all the people that, a lot of the people who've engaged in this exact same form of hate speech by voting for that bill in 1996. And you know, since 1996, we've had a back of the envelope calculation about 25,000 bills filed in the assembly, and there has not been a single one of the 25,000 to repeal the marriage laws that we have. Instead, the, the purpose, the program, is to try to get judges to do it, either of this state or of another state, to accomplish what could never be accomplished through the representatives of the people. Now, I've passed out uh, another piece of paper that has an amendment on one side and a vote on the other side that was offered just last Monday as an amendment to the proposed marriage amendment. And uh, I'll at some point be asking uh, Representative Glazier uh, why 43 people would think that it would be a good idea to say this, marriage put in the Constitution, marriage belongs to the dominion of God under the authority of the church, licensure of marriage is prohibited in this state. In other words, the ultimate goal, of course, is to do away with state sanctioning of marriage. And you have to realize why the state got involved in marriage to start with. It wasn't about love or romance, it was about children. So that, for example, in medieval Europe, uh, as people would go around and have secret marriages, uh, nobody really knew whose child was uh, the child of whom, uh, who was otherwise married, and for me to marry that person would then be bigamy, but they maybe didn't tell me about it. There was no licensure, so how would you know? But it's been maintained, not because of love or romance, but for the welfare of children.